Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the Technical Department. From the topic isometric projection, you will be drawing a simple isometric square today. An isometric projection is a three-dimensional representation of an object, showing us the top view, the front view, and the end view. Isometric drawings are commonly used by engineers and architects, just to name a few. Special precaution must be taken when using our T-square. The head of the T-square must always be held firmly against the side of your drawing board or table. For isometric projections, the 60-30 set square is always used in conjunction with your T-square. This set square is used to draw horizontal lines that are drawn inclined at an angle of 30 degrees and also to draw vertical lines that are drawn at the 90 degree angle. You will now draw the isometric drawing now shown on the right to the given dimensions. Firstly, use your T-square and draw a horizontal baseline. Ensure you hold the head of your T-square firmly against your drawing table or board. Use your T-square along with your set square to draw a line vertically perpendicular to the line you previously drew. Now with the use of your T-square along with your set square, draw a line to the intersection that is inclined at a 30 degree angle. On the other side, repeat this procedure. Now measure and identify 40 millimeters at these three points. From the two endpoints identified, draw a vertical line with the aid of your set square and your T square. Now you could measure 40 millimeters on the two previous line drawn, but this is not necessary for this drawing. Draw a parallel line to this line at the 40 millimeter point you identified on the central vertical line. If intersections did not meet, Ensure you extend the lines until they intersect. Now use the 30 degree of your set square along with your T-square from this point and draw a horizontal line. As you can see, these two lines are parallel. These two lines are also parallel and these three lines are also parallel. Now draw a line from this point with the use of your 30 degree set square and your T square. Now the final line is to draw a line parallel to this line from this point. Use your T square along with your set square, the 30 degree, to do so. Now outline your required isometric drawing. Now these three lines are parallel to each other. These three vertical lines are also parallel. When doing isometric drawings, ensure that you use this set square only to draw these lines. Also, your set square must be used in conjunction with your T square. Now border your paper and complete your title block. 